Did you know that Peter Ruckman actually exposed Stephen Anderson? Actually mentioned him in one of his books. I was not aware of this and uh, had a brother send me this, one of the last books that uh, Dr. Ruckman had written, the commentary on the book of Daniel. Right there you can see. And uh, my wife had a question about uh, Daniel chapter 8. And so I said to her, you know, it was like last night we were talking about it. I said, well, I don't feel like going up, you know, and getting the commentary. I'll remind me to get it for you tomorrow. So I brought it down and we we're discussing this thing at the breakfast table this morning. And she's reading through and she goes, whoa, he actually mentioned Stephen Anderson in here. I said, what? I didn't know that. And uh, I'm going to read you the the uh, paragraph here where he talks about Stephen Anderson. He exposes him. He says here this verse, it's talking about Daniel chapter 8. Uh, this section is on Daniel chapter 8 verses 9 through 14. He says here, this, the verse is a prophecy of the renewal of the Jewish sacrifice, and for that to happen, the temple will have to be rebuilt. Very true. With the modern revival of Calvinism among conservative evangelicals, there has been a revival of the amillennialism of Augustine, Roman Catholic teaching in other words. That is accompanied by replacement theology, where the church takes the place of Israel which Anderson has openly admitted. That he's, you know, you teach him replacement theology? Yes, I am. He openly admits it. I have video you know, showing the proof. Uh, it says here, that means God is all done with the Jews, so people like Tex Mars and Steve Anderson teach that the Jews don't belong in the land and they would be sinning by, to reconstruct the temple since it was done away with by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, ignoring the prophetic nature of Colossians 2.17. So right there you have the paragraph. I'll show it here. You can see that. So I find that interesting. Yeah, because a lot of people, all you ever want to do is talk about Stephen Anderson. Stephen Anderson's very dangerous. And even Dr. Ruckman in his old age could see that and realize the extreme danger of this Stephen Anderson guy and his cult following. Um, yes, he is very dangerous. Uh, but again, just to kind of cover that whole thing there, um, it just, you know, when you look at this stuff, you go, I don't understand how Steven Anderson can't get this or Tex Mars or whatever else because they're, they're dead spiritually. They're dead in trespasses and sins. They are not saved. That's how they're not able to understand things that are in the Bible. Um, the Bible prophesies that there's going to be a temple that the Antichrist sits in. Uh, now, the only way for that to happen is if there's a temple that's rebuilt in Jerusalem. Now, I'm going to be talking in real great detail here, uh, probably later today, I'm going to be doing the video on the thing of this third temple. Um, extremely important, really wild stuff the Lord's been showing me. And uh, But I just find that interesting that even in his old age, as a man that uh, really couldn't get around very much in things, even Ruckman could see the danger of Stephen Anderson and exposed him in one of his last commentaries that he wrote. Very interesting. Just thought I'd like to share that with the viewers on this channel. Um, we need to warn people about Stephen Anderson. He's very dangerous. Thank you for watching.